And if it didn't go for too much money, I went home with a box of books. And it might take me months to get through it, and it didn't matter. So I'm pretty sure that's how Illusions ended up on my bookshelf. But it got my attention, obviously, because I needed to read it. Because Illusions taught me one very valuable lesson after another. I literally reread this book at least once a year. Lately, I've been reading it a lot more. It's Illusions, and the subtitle is The Adventures of a Reluctant Messiah. And it teaches us that we all have the power to control our destiny. In fact, it takes the stance that we all have the ability to control everything that happens to us. But the thing that I took away from that was when one character says to another character, well, I guess if your happiness depends on what other people decide to do, you have a problem. And here I was telling myself a story that I was very, very unhappy and that nobody loved me and my life didn't matter and I had no opportunities in my future that mattered to me and I was better off dead and in fact the world was better off without me. That was my story. That wasn't truth, that was my story. And people say, oh, well, it's understandable. Most people would have felt that way. It doesn't matter. It was a story. And then I read a story that said, if your happiness depends on what other people decide to do, it's your problem. And all of a sudden, the power transferred back to me. But I still said, I will never meet Richard Bach. Because part of that story is a man who is terrified of crowds is a man who wants to be a recluse and just fly his plane and get people to leave him alone. And I don't know how I knew that was true. I just knew that was, that was, that was the factual part. And I knew I would never meet Richard Bach. And later when I started meeting some authors, you know, I, I did some online searching and I found out, sure enough, he's pretty reclusive. He doesn't speak. He very seldom does book signings. He came out with a new book in 2008, did very, very few book signings. I was never going to meet Richard Bach. But I still shared about the book as a point that your presence can manifest whether you share in person or not. When you claim your passion and purpose connection and you put it out there in your presence, you have impact and you generate success whether it's in person or not. So I continually used Richard Bach and his book that saved my life as an example of a presence that had tremendous impact and that generated tremendous success, including financial